Imagine looking up at the night sky and seeing nothing. Not darkness filled with distant stars, but a truly empty expanse where galaxies should be, but simply aren't. Welcome to one of the most mysterious structures in our universe, the Boots Void, sometimes called the Great Nothing. Picture this. It's 1981, and astronomer Robert Kirshner and his team are conducting a routine survey of galaxies, mapping out the cosmic landscape around us. They're using redshift data to chart where galaxies exist in space, but as their map develops, something bizarre appears. There's a massive gap, a hole in the universe so enormous that it defies expectations. This wasn't supposed to be there. According to everything we knew about how matter distributes itself across space, this region should have been teeming with galaxies, but instead they found almost nothing. The Bota's void spans an incomprehensible 330 million light years across. To put that in perspective, if you could travel at the speed of light, that's 186,000 miles per second, it would take you 330 million years to cross from one side to the other. This void makes up roughly 2% of the entire observable universe. Now, when we say void, you might be picturing absolute emptiness, a cosmic vacuum with literally nothing inside. But that's not quite right. The Bodas void isn't completely empty. It contains galaxies, about 60 of them which might sound like a lot until you realize that a typical region of space this size should contain around 2,000 galaxies. That's a shortfall of over 97%. Think about that for a moment. If the Milky Way, our home galaxy, had been born in the center of the Bodas void, we would have been incredibly cosmically lonely. Astronomer Greg Aldering put it perfectly when he said that if we lived there, we wouldn't have known other galaxies existed until the 1960s. Our entire understanding of the universe would have been delayed by decades, maybe even centuries, simply because there would have been nothing close enough to see with our early telescopes. So how did this cosmic desert form? To understand that, we need to go back to the beginning. Literally, when the universe burst into existence 13.8 billion years ago during the Big Bang, everything was hot, dense, and relatively uniform. But, and this is crucial, not perfectly uniform. There were tiny quantum fluctuations, microscopic differences in density scattered throughout the primordial soup of matter and energy. These small variations might seem insignificant, but they had enormous consequences. Areas that were slightly denser had slightly stronger gravitational pull. This meant they attracted more matter from their surroundings. As they grew denser, their gravity increased, pulling in even more material. Meanwhile, the less dense regions became even emptier as their matter was drawn away. As the universe expanded, and it's been expanding since that first moment, these density differences expanded with it. Those tiny quantum fluctuations that started smaller than an atom eventually grew to span hundreds of millions of light years. The denser regions collapsed into the galaxies, galaxy clusters, and massive filaments we see today. The underdense regions became voids. This process created what cosmologists call the cosmic web, a vast, intricate structure where galaxies arrange themselves along thread-like filaments, clustering at the intersections, while enormous voids sit between them like cosmic bubbles. Voids actually make up about 80% of the universe. They're everywhere. But the Bodas void is special. It's what scientists call a super void, one of the largest empty regions we've ever discovered. 
There's a leading theory about how it got so big. Scientists believe the Buddha's void formed when multiple smaller voids merged together. As the universe continued expanding and gravity pulled galaxies toward dense regions, the spaces between them grew. Over billions of years, adjacent voids could have combined, creating this massive empty region. It's like how small bubbles in a fizzy drink can merge into larger ones. But here's where things get interesting and controversial. Some scientists question whether there's been enough time since the Big Bang for a void this large to form naturally. The expansion of the universe and the pace of structure formation are driven by dark energy. That mysterious force that makes up 68% of the universe and pushes galaxies apart. If the Buddha's void is too large to have formed in the available time, it might mean we need to reconsider our understanding of cosmic evolution. The few galaxies that do exist within the void are fascinating in their own right. These void galaxies lead isolated lives, evolving without the influence of close neighbors or the chaos of galaxy mergers. They tend to have high gas content and continue forming new stars despite their loneliness. Some have unusual, irregular shapes that you rarely see in more crowded cosmic neighborhoods. They're like cosmic hermits, developing in ways that galaxies in denser regions simply can't. Studying the Buddha's void isn't just about satisfying our curiosity about empty space. These enormous voids are actually valuable laboratories for understanding fundamental physics. Because they're so empty, they're ideal places to study neutrinos, those ghostly subatomic particles that barely interact with matter. Neutrinos can stream freely across voids without interference, making these regions perfect for comparing observed neutrino behavior with theoretical predictions. Voids also help us understand dark energy, that mysterious force driving the universe's expansion. By studying how voids form and evolve, scientists can test different models of how dark energy behaves and how it shaped the large-scale structure of the cosmos. The Bodas void sits in the direction of the constellation Bodas, about 700 million light years from Earth. It's surrounded by rich superclusters of galaxies, the Ursa Major, Shapley, Hercules, Corona Borealis, and Boda's superclusters all border this empty region. It's like a massive clearing in a dense cosmic forest. Some of those 60 galaxies inside the void are actually visible to amateur astronomers with the right equipment. The brightest called Markarian 845 shines at magnitude 14.8. While you'd need a fairly substantial telescope to see it, the fact that we can observe these lonely galaxies at all is remarkable. The discovery of the Buddhist void challenged our understanding of cosmic structure and continues to puzzle astronomers today. It reminds us that the universe is full of extremes, not just the bright, dense regions where galaxies crowd together, but also these vast emptinesses that dwarf anything we can easily imagine. The great nothing is, in many ways, just as important to understanding the cosmos as all the spectacular galaxies, nebulae, and clusters we love to observe. Because in those empty spaces, we find clues to how the universe evolved, how dark energy shapes reality, and how structure emerges from chaos. Sometimes nothing tells us everything. If you enjoyed this journey through the terrifying beauty of space, make sure to like this video, Subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss what's coming next.